We're ready to go today. We got some of the weirdest people on the planet. <laughs> this man, obsessed with a child's world, will open your eyes to a whole new way of life. All right, puppy, you fire the guns. <laughs> with a nursery to spoil this bouncing baby boy. I'll always have my pacifier. And a mommy to take care of him. I think it's close to nap time. No. This adult baby stops at nothing. I feel like when I'm wearing a diaper that it's like a constant hug from mommy. Yeah, this is a little different. This is my crazy obsession. I'd much rather be crazy than normal. Okay, so this guy literally is a grown man acting like a baby. And that's like his obsession, like he's actually into it. What the hell, man? I think about acting like a baby every day. For me, it's, it's a big part of my life. It's something you can go to bed doing. I like to have a bottle each night when I go to bed and gotta have my pacifier. Stanley might be 31 years old, but for the past 18 years, he has gone to remarkable lengths to remain young at heart, very young. An adult baby is somebody who gets satisfaction by dressing or acting as a baby. I either like to put on my crib toys or my mobile and let them play as I fall asleep. And he doesn't just talk the baby talk. He dedicates eight hours a day role playing as a toddler. It's not sexual at all. It's a feeling of being- Okay, sexual? It, come on, man. I don't think anyone thought this was sexual, dude. This is just weird as hell. You're literally a grown man in a giant crib. I don't even know how you got a crib this size. I really enjoy it. It makes you feel like a kid. Hi, chair. I wanted to get one for a long time. The ones online are a couple thousand dollars, and I couldn't afford that kind of thing. So I made something that was simple with... with Okay, this guy's eating baby food as well? I, I can't! Dude, come on! Are you serious? <laughs> Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I don't know. I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? No, it has nothing to do with that, dude. Are you serious? These are literally like colors of balloons. Come on, man. It, it, there's no way this can be the same. Am, am I wrong on this or, you know, <sighs> whatever, man. This is my balloon sanctuary. I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And uh, wherever I, I have a white one, I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there like there's a white one over there. And then I got some. Dude, I'm sorry. I see like four white ones. Am I wrong on this? Like, is this what he considers clear? I see like four white ones in the picture, and he says he has no white ones. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. Okay, what? Dude, a lot of abuse? Come on, man. Like, that is not right to say. I get it, you're talking about balloons, but in the aspect that you're saying it, dude, this is like, oh my God. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? <laughs> there's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloon. And you got your non-poppers. Okay, what am I looking at right now? Come, dude, I I'm done with this shit. Dude, what even are they showing me? And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. What? What the hell is he doing? Dude, I don't even have to explain how wrong that is, man. Good morning, baby. My handsome man.
Okay, I'm not saying anything. But how do you know that it's a man? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. Love you, baby. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and just kind of caress him down the side. I love air freshener. Okay, what? I love it, absolutely. What I love about drinking air freshener is the taste. Okay, you don't drink air freshener, man. Come on, seriously? Dude, what are you doing? You're like drinking air. It's like me like eating a sandwich. It's nothing. I've got to have fresh linen. I literally crave it. In the last three years, there's not a day where I've not had it. 20 cans of air freshener a week? Okay, I know this is Febreze, it's probably not what she's buying, but she is spending $5 on two of these. If she goes through 20 in a week, that's literally 50. <laughs> 50? Wait, <laughs> that's actually not that bad for an addiction, I gotta say. <laughs> my name is Keisha, and I'm expecting my first child, and I love sniffing and chewing dirty diapers. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> not just sniffing, but she also loves chewing dirty diapers. Uh, what? Come on, man. <laughs> it has to have pee in it. It has to have pee in it. The heavier ones that have more pee smell better. Yeah. Mmm, this one's soft. I love it. It just tastes amazing. I have one while I'm cooking in the kitchen. I have one in my drawers. I have one while I'm sleeping. I keep some in my trunk. I keep some in my pocketbook. All right, dude, I've heard enough. You live your daily life sniffing and eating dirty diapers, dude. Come on, like, is that even why you're having a baby in the first place, dude? Just to get its dirty diapers? You know, all this is just eating me alive. I can't take it anymore. I've been hiding something from you guys. I too have an addiction. You know, I didn't know how I was supposed to be able to tell you guys this, seriously. You know, this is something that's been on my mind ever since I was born. Literally, ever since I was born. And I just gotta confess today, here with you guys, what my addiction is. I'm addicted with living life on the edge.